the fifth and final main ball. This is the moment that life changed forever for no, one UK nice ticket holder. Stuff. We don't know yet whether the £170 million jackpot was won by an individual or a syndicate, but whoever it is, it's fair to say that's Christmas paid for. It's not me, it could be you, but what would you do with it? It's too much to comprehend. I probably wouldn't tell anyone. So you could do whatever you wanted. I know what I'd do with it. Just with your pocket change, you could probably go for something very beautiful like this May one here. May of course I? you can, there you go. So that is a 10 carat fancy yellow diamond, uh, yours for the bargain price of £200,000. Close your mouth, Ruth. It's not just pretty, it's an investment though. Jewellery of this quality only increases in value. I have to say there's something quite sobering about wearing a piece of jewellery you could pay your mortgage off with them. Martin and Sandra White don't need to worry about the mortgage, though. They won over £10 million on the lottery and have this advice for the winner. Don't jump in too quickly, you know. Just go, go on a, a holiday somewhere and have a think about what's happened to yourselves and... And, uh, and enjoy it. Yeah, enjoy it. And for those of us feeling jealous that it wasn't us, there are some things that £170 million can't buy. No, not happiness. Who cares about that? You couldn't buy Lanai Island in Hawaii. That's worth £245 million. Nor could you buy this £326 million penthouse. And you absolutely couldn't buy this £360 million super yacht. £170 million small change. And I'm not bitter at all. There are some things that whether you've got a lot or a little amount of money, you can do. So instead, think about investing time in your family and friends and also being grateful for what you do have and focusing on the little things in life, because we can all do that. See, gratitude is the attitude. I may not be able to afford 10 carrots, but at least I can afford 10 carrots. Ruth Lipchot, 5 News.